This beginner's video is to help you understand how to pick up a drop stitch when you've been knitting garter stitch. If you need to learn how to knit garter stitch, please do take a look at my video, which will show you how to work this simple stitch. So you may have got to the end of your row and you've looked back and you've noticed you've dropped this stitch. This is how you pick it up without taking the stitches off your needles. You can unravel the whole thing and try and pick up the stitches if, if you prefer. But this technique is to show you how to pick up this stitch without removing all the stitches from your needle. So you need to get to the point where you've got a needle either side of this drop stitch. So I'm going to transfer the stitches across. until I get to the point where I can see my drop stitch in the middle of the two needles. And these strands here, we've got four of those strands, that's each of the rows that this stitch has dropped down. So we need to knit this stitch up again, up each of these strands to work up the rows. Now with garter stitch, you can see the stitch has this bump here which is, we would knit this as a purl stitch, and then the flat, which is the knit stitch. And this will alternate. So you take a look at the stitch that was last formed, the, the, the last stitch that's been formed. Now that's a bump, so that's a purl. So we need to knit this strand, knit this stitch with this strand as a knit stitch, because we need it to be flat flat in between each of the bumps. So you take the stitch and you put it on your left needle and you pick up that bottom strand, the row that's come undone. And you're going to put the stitch over the top of the strand. And that's your knit stitch made. Now we've got this flat stitch on here, this knit stitch, we need to actually work a purl stitch for the next row that we're going to make. So we're going to put that strand onto the needle, but to make the purl stitch, to work a purl stitch, we need to transfer both of those onto the right needle this time. If you pop the strand just to the left hand side of your stitch, and go into the stitch and you need to pull the stitch over the strand and that gives you that little bumpy bar, that's the purl. Then I'm going to take that stitch back onto the left hand needle and find the next ladder. Now the best way, they can get a bit confusing because they cross over when they're not made. The best thing to do is to look at this edge stitch and find the next strand and that's how you can identify much more clearly which is the next stitch to pick up, next row to pick up. So you pick up that strand, we're on our left needle, we're doing a knit stitch, making a knit stitch, put your needle into the stitch and pass it over the strand. Now as new knitters you might have difficulty and might, might lose this stitch, so if you're finding you can't get it over without losing it, just pop your finger on there and keep it still. That's your knit stitch. Now we're on to our last dropped row. So you pick up that ladder. Now we've got the flat knit stitch, we need to do a purl. Take both of those across to your right needle again. You're going to get the stitch. You can see that and you're going to pass it over the top of the strand. And that's your purl stitch. So that's your stitches made again. Now you need to transfer all the stitches again back onto this needle to get back to your yarn to carry on knitting. So you put your needle into here, take it across, and then you're back and you've picked up your stitch, your stitches, your rows. So you can just, if you've got a little bit that's a little bit looser, just 
move the stitches around a bit, get them nice and even again, and then your knitting looks gorgeous again. I hope that helped.